Hello and welcome back to All New Beauty. Today's video is going to be a review of this. This is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it's the Vitamin C Brightening Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. Now I've had this for ages, which you probably wouldn't be able to guess because I haven't used even half of it. But this featured back in my May favourites, so you know, it just goes to show I've had this for the best part of a year anyway. Um, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this oil and I thought about time I shared my feelings. Um, I tend to use this in the evenings as part of my makeup removal. So I will only ever use this generally to remove my makeup and it does a really good job at dissolving majority of my makeup. It will leave a bit of mascara. There's very few eye makeup removers or makeup removers in general that don't leave a wee tiny bit of mascara along your very lash line. Um, so I do get that with this, but generally my second cleanse all that comes off. Um, this is a lovely oil. I put it onto dry hands, say about 10p sort of size, you know, maybe not even 10p. A small amount, you don't need very much. Um, and then I just massage this all over my face. And the thing I like with this is that it's quite good for giving yourself a facial massage. So I tend to do, if you've seen, um, Lisa Aldridge has done a video on facial massage and I found it really useful and it helped make it more intuitive for me. So I watched that and then I employed bits of it and the bits that stuck out for me, basically I do that. So all around my eyes and relieving the pressure points and various drainage things and all that kind of stuff. But this is really good for doing that because there is a nice bit of slip to it. I'm actually going to put this down because it's sticky. That's part of the hate of this. The packaging and the mess it makes drives me insane. Really, there's no other way to put it. I've cleaned this, I'll just show you up close. I have cleaned this a lot. Like I clean the lid to make sure I try and get the stickiness off if the camera would focus. Come on now. So you can see maybe sticky lid, um, sticky bottle. Can you hear? sticky bottle if I open the lid ooh, it a nice sticky gooey mess which is unfortunate that's one of the main reasons I don't actually use it that often which is an absolute shame I'm gonna make sure you make more of an effort but it's it, it almost just leaves such a mess and it makes a mess on the side where it lives even though you really carefully pour it out and I twist to finish the same if you drink you're pouring a bottle of wine you pour and you twist for it to finish and it rounds off without dripping everywhere. No, this, yeah, do that, and it still makes a mess with the lid, and then it goes, somehow gets greasy in the bottle, and I've cleaned that quite a few times, and it, you wouldn't think it. It's just so disgusting. They need to sort out the packaging, something chronic. It's disgusting. It annoys me. That's my hate part of this. <laughs> I just really do not enjoy that. I have, oh, crazy dog is it. I have issues with things like that and I just find it hard to deal with them so I put them to one side and don't use them very often. Um, anyway, back to the review of the actual product rather than just the packaging. It is really good for massage and it dissolves the majority of my makeup apart from just around my eyes. I tend to have to give that a wee bit more go but with this at least I can sort of massage it onto my lashes and everything just very carefully and it will re remove the majority of the mascara. Um, I then wet my hands, I don't tend to add water to my face, I wet my hands, give them a really good rinse and then I go in with my wet hands onto my face and then give that another rub and that sort of makes the um, it makes it more of a milky solution on my face and then I just either will rinse it off depending on how much time I have, I'll either rinse it off um, or I will use a face cloth to use you run that under warm water and then use it to take it all off. Either way, it tends to come off, you just splash your face a lot and you know, wipe it off. It does come off that way. So if you don't have access to a hand towel, not a hand towel, face cloth, at least you can just rinse your, rinse it off with your hands, which you can't do with like some cleansers, you know, some of the balms and stuff. It's a nightmare to get off if you don't have a face cloth. Um, but this you can get off with, with your hands as well as with the face cloth. Um, you get a really good amount, so for 10.99, and it lasts for 36 months, so I really need to get using this. 
um, you get 200 mil, which is really, really good because you do not need very much at all. I have used this quite a few times. The more it doesn't look it, I have actually used this quite a bit. Um, so I can see that this will last for ages. Um, it has got vitamin E, as we know, it's got rosemary oil and cucumber oil and various things like that to help break down the makeup. And for nourishing your skin, it's got olive, uh, grape seed, rosehip oils. Um, for what else? Obviously, in vitamin C, which I mentioned. Yeah, it's got all the good stuff to help your skin. It does leave my skin feeling super soft, and it feels like it has left a bit of residue, but not the bad kind. You know, if you have some cleansing balms, they leave a really oily residue. This feels really soft and very nourishing. Similar, it reminds me of the Emma Hardy cleansing balm in that you can feel something has been left on your skin, but it's good stuff and you don't mind. So I feel like I have something good left on my skin when I use that. Although I tend to use it as my first cleanser, so it'll probably come off with my second cleanser. But it feels like it's doing some good for my skin, so that is a good thing. I have used it, um, I've tried it in the mornings and it's fine. I don't really like it in the morning at all. I will only ever use it in the evening nowadays. It's fine, but I don't know, I just prefer, I don't like anything at all, whether good or bad, being left on my skin. I'm a bit, you know, I prefer to tone and moisturize and put it all on that way. Um, so I don't always like that in the mornings. I like a really fresh face in the morning, but it's lovely in the evenings, nice and soothing, leaves my skin soft, doesn't dry anything out, doesn't irritate anything. And generally it is a good product. Just sort the packaging out. Seriously. If you can get over the packaging, it's great. It's a really good product um, and I would definitely recommend trying it out. Um, yeah, it is just the packaging for me. This, the, the OCD in me. People are like, oh no, you should. I really do have serious issues. I can't deal at all with something like that. Um, I have, as I said, I clean it so often because it gets so grubby and so disgusting and the stickiness when you open the lid just not nice so on a happier note it's a really good product and it's a good makeup remover i still prefer for hand in a six just using makeup remover on a pad to wipe it off because it can't be faffed when i get in from work i like to just wipe it all off rather than tie my hair up wash my face which i really should do because there's not really that much time saving going on you know laziness in the evenings we're all guilty of it but that is it so if you have any questions please let me know down below thank you very very much for watching please like if you liked please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye